This is a C. Jason podcast, and I am Tim Meyer from Stanford University, here with my colleague Scott Sutherland from Stanford Children's Health. I'm pleased to describe the results of our collaborative study of how having residual kidney function affects the blood levels of uremic solutes in children on peritoneal dialysis. We assess dialysis adequacy by measuring the removal of urea. We add the clearance of urea by dialysis to the clearance of urea by the residual kidney to determine whether the patient is getting enough urea clearance in proportion to their size. We know, however, that the kidney, even when damaged, clears many solutes more rapidly than urea. This is because the kidney tubules actively secrete waste solutes into the urine. The peritoneal membrane can't do this. So peritoneal dialysis does not remove any solute faster than urea. We guess that levels of some solutes would therefore be lower in patients with residual kidney function than in patients with no residual kidney function who rely entirely on dialysis to replace kidney function. To test this hypothesis, we studied 13 pediatric peritoneal dialysis patients without residual kidney function and 10 with residual kidney function. Metabolomic analysis identified more than 200 uremic solutes that accumulated in the plasma. The patients with and without residual function had nearly the same total urea clearance. However, the blood levels of uremic solutes averaged about one-third lower in the patients with residual kidney function. While we do not know the clinical implications of these findings, it suggests that some uremic toxins are cleared differently by dialysis in the kidney. You might ask why we studied pediatric patients. We were particularly interested in children because residual kidney function is often difficult to assess as it's challenging to obtain 24-hour urines. We hoped we might identify a way to determine the amount of residual kidney function based upon the blood level of one of these uremic solutes. While we were not able to achieve this definitively, we did find candidate solutes that are cleared more effectively by kidneys than by dialysis. We believe that there's a lot more to be done if we knew what compounds are the most important to remove, we could design new tests to assess how effectively we're removing them. This podcast is copyrighted by the American Society of Nephrology, all rights reserved. All content in this podcast is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be medical advice. This podcast should not be used in a medical emergency or for the diagnosis or treatment of any medical condition. Please consult your doctor or other qualified health care provider if you have any questions about any medical condition or before taking any drug, changing your diet, or commencing or discontinuing any course of treatment. Thank you for listening to this podcast from the American Society of Nephrology.